Whether you're a tactical dude and call it a bug out vehicle, or maybe you're a little more of a hipster and you call it van life, there is no doubt that using vans as homes and stealth camping is more popular than it's ever been. I wanna take you through my van and let you see all its capabilities and kinda of how I organize it in case you're thinking about doing the same. Let's take a look. This has a full power package, meaning there's batteries and all the different components kind of embedded into the floor so that this thing can run even with the engine off. Right now we've got the AC going because it's like 100 degrees in here. Um, but as you can see, we've got all the control panels for power, both solar and battery, that is separate from vehicle power. You have a touch pad here that allows you to do diagnostics, set temperature, uh, turn on all your lighting. You all know the importance of power. This thing has plenty of 110 volt sockets for your three prong power charging devices. Then we also have USB ports everywhere. So don't worry, plenty of power to charge your mobile phone. All right, storage. There's enough in here for me. It's not a lot, but as you're gonna see, I've kind of added my own system of storing things and we'll get to that in a minute. But up front in the main compartment, you've got plenty of storage here. Uh, the doors drop down, and then they've got these recessed fixtures in order to open and close. And there's three main compartments where you can keep all the things that you need handy. This thing is 100% climate controlled. It has AC provided by the vehicle itself. And then you've got heat, which is all propane heat. And you can actually do it on the touchpad, plug in your temperature, and then it keeps this thing toasty warm no matter where you are. Just recently, uh, I went up to Colorado. It went from 98 degrees to 19 degrees in less than 24 hours and dumped approximately 12 to 15 inches of snow on us. And uh, I gotta say, this thing was perfect. And it was a good test to make sure that it actually can hold up in those frigid environments. All right, this thing has a full kitchen. Might not be like the one you're used to, but good enough for when you're on the road. It has a sink. It has the faucet all hooked up to a water pump that you can turn on and off so you can conserve power. Then you have an electric stove and it's a magnetic top stove. So once your skillet is on there, then it will activate, it'll hold the skillet in place and also give you the opportunity to turn it on. If there's no skillet there, then it won't come on accidentally, which is kind of cool and a good safety feature. Then we've got a little refrigerator. So just enough to keep your drinks and some food cool, but I also have some other items that I keep in here in case it's a much longer trip and I need more food. All right, sleeping. Now this thing can sleep for adults comfortably. You've got a bed down below, which is the couch that lays down into approximately a full size bed. And then up here in the pop top, you've got what is probably equivalent to a queen size bed. So there's plenty of room, it's got a nice mattress and isn't a bad night's sleep. All right, an organization system. I keep mine pretty simple. It consists of bins. I have bins for kind of like all your major parts and pieces of your adventure, right? So I've got sleep. I've got things specific for the RV. I have kitchen. I have propane. I have shower and then entertainment. And really I can pull out any one of these bins, get what I need, and you know probably have a decent trip without having to take a bunch of runs to the store or whatever so uh, let's take a look closer all right so i make sure i always have an extra tent this one's by rugged a supply company we're going to be actually covering this next time then propane stoves i've got two of these in here and just to give you an example sleep is what you would think it is. There's extra sleeping bags. Of course, I have blankets and pillows and stuff already in here in the open. And then kitchen is exactly what you would think. It's bowls, plates, skillets, you know, everything you need to clean everything up, uh, some towels, some sponges, all of your utensils and blades. Uh, or whatever else you need to cook is all in here nice and easy all right so as you can see I got a little bit of everything in here just to be safe you know following the principle that one is none and two is one so I've got usually redundancy but the last thing I want to highlight 
is a Minuteman pack, okay? So this pack has everything I need in case I have to bug out from this vehicle. So I have 72 hours worth of food, rifle, extra ammunition, sleeping gear, warmies, fishing rod, uh, and even a ham radio all built into this thing. It's the Minuteman loadout. If you want more on that, check out Bill Rapier. He is without a doubt an expert when it comes to the Minuteman loadout and everything you need to survive several days and then some. So check that out. But you always want to treat this as your home. So you still got to have the bug out bag and the things that you would have in your fixed home or single family home that you grab and you can run if need be. Um, so you treat your vehicle the same way. All right, so that is my bug out van, or for you hipsters out there, your van life van. Whatever you wanna call it, I don't care, but I think everybody should have one of these or some version of it. You can build your own out. I got mine through Passionway. They're an RV company out of Canada. They did a great job customizing it with everything that you could ask for. So check them out, Passion Van RVs, or just keep track of Gear Scout, and I'll be following up with more and more gear and things that relate to adventure, outdoor life, you name it. Stay tuned.